Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to be playing around with some new makeup and catching up with you guys because it's been so long since I've uploaded. Well, it's only been a week, but still I feel like we have a lot of things to catch up on because I've been doing so much this week and I thought it would be fun to share it with you. So let's go ahead and jump into this makeup look. I have like a million new products just right down here to play with. So let's do this. So let's start with the eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with this new palette from The Balm and I'm going to pick up this shade right here on my little fluffy brush. So where do I even start? What have I been doing? So my friend Michael came down for I think like a week or was it like two weeks or something? So that's why I didn't film. When other people are here, I feel so bad filming because it takes like a whole day to like get one video done um but we went to justin bieber it was fucking amazing like he is that fucking hot are you serious i was getting so frustrated because he was like so far away i was like what why is he far away don't like come down here please but um no i'd love to meet him it would be so cool um but <laughs> how funny is it the whole like thing that's happening with like the paparazzi and stuff and he's like fuck off like, honestly, me too. That's what I would do if I was getting followed around so much and harassed by people. Like, what do you mean? But, what can you do? First impressions of these eyeshadows. They're amazing. They're blending out so nicely. They're very pigmented. And I literally can't believe that these are considered a drugstore brand. You can get them at Target. Are you serious? Okay, so the next shade that I'm going to take is this middle brown right here. And I'm just going to put this in the crease to deepen it up. Um, I really want to do a kind of daytime look today just because I'm going to look at a new place because our lease is nearly up, mine and Jonathan, so we are wanting to move into a bigger place, so um, obviously I need to look presentable for that, and I haven't done like a daytime look in a while. I'm honestly so sick of living in this apartment, it's so small. If you guys lived here, you'd probably be like, get me out of here. It's like being locked up in a little shoebox. If I open the door, you can hear all of the, like, building of apartments and shit. And it's so loud. So I have to keep the doors closed when I'm filming and, like, when I'm just chilling if I want quiet. So, yeah, that's why we don't want to extend the lease because fuck that, honestly. I need to stop swearing. That's what happens when I don't film for a while. I just get into a habit. I got a bunch of new e.l.f. products and this is the eyeshadow palette that I got. It's called the Prism Eyeshadow Palette. And the colors are so pretty. They're, like rosy gold shades and they're all shimmery so what should we do in the lid today i might take this one right here and i'm just gonna pack this all over my lid i just put some fix plus on my brush because this needs to be slow pigmented let's go in hunts i might just chuck some of that dark brown on my outer corner here just so the look is still pretty let's move on to the face so i'm gonna go in with this tarte maracuja oil I've seen so many people put oil on their face before foundation and it looks so pretty. It just makes the skin look really soft and hydrated. So I'm just going to put a few drops on my face. Usually I put this on before bed to really like make my skin hydrated because I do have dry skin. So if you do have oily skin, I'm not sure if this is going to work. But like dry to normal. And then for primer, oh I better shake it up. This is so watery. It's the Australis Primer, the original. Anyways, I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Ooh, it looks very silicone-y. It kind of smells a bit funky, but it does feel really nice going onto the skin. It's nice and hydrating, easy to blend, and anything that keeps the makeup on longer, right? Thank you. I just picked up the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric High Coverage Foundation, and I'm super excited to try it out because I've heard some good things about it. I love the original Giorgio Armani Foundation. Why is my skin going red? I don't know if you guys can see it, but when I put that primer on my skin, just like flamed up a little bit. <laughs> so I got the shade 6.5. This is a different color range to the original Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So I'm hoping this one matches my skin. Ooh, it's very runny. Just applying that with a beauty blender. Oh, I love putting foundation on. Ooh, the color's really nice. So far, so good. It does not feel heavy on my face at all. And it's looking very natural, but absolutely standing at the same time. The first thing that I'm noticing is you can definitely see what's happening under the skin still. So it's not like a full coverage. Mm, it says it's a high cover foundation, but I'd say it's like a medium. The next product that I'm going to try out is this concealer from Wet n Wild. It is called Cover All and it is in the shade... 
811. Oh my god, I'm so scared to try this because it was so, so cheap. So it could ruin my whole book and makeup. But let's do this. All right, let's blend it in with my beauty blender. If it wants to blend. No, it doesn't want to blend. Cool. Oh my god. Honestly, I'd rather put foundation under my eyes than put that under there ever again. Like, Ever. Oh my god, I can't. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape under there because that's just not happening, honestly. Thank you. Oh, that one's so much better. All right, let's move on to setting underneath the eyes. I'm gonna take the Chi Chi Real Minerals um, finishing powder. So this is a translucent powder and I'm just gonna use this to bake underneath my eyes. If this has flashback, you'll hear about it. Trust me. Going in, wish me luck. I didn't realize how many new products that I have, but the next thing that I have is from The Balm. It is a powder foundation and I'm in the shade medium. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this on my face. Let's see if it adds a bit of extra coverage. Hmm, I can't see it adding any coverage, but it definitely feels like it's setting it. <gasps> oh my God, all of that foundation that was on my nose just fucking like left the building like it's gone it just said see ya bye I'm just gonna brush away all this translucent powder under my eyes and so far I really like it I did a good job it's not leaving a white cast it's not taking away any foundation now for the lower lash line I'm just gonna take this pink color and take it from outer corner to inner corner okay maybe there is a little bit of a white cast under my eyes better okay so first the pink color I'm just taking a big blending brush because I want it to be nice and low now. And lastly, just putting that chocolate brown on the outer third of my lower lash line. While we're on the eye still, I am going to take this shade right here from that e.l.f. palette and just highlight my inner corners. I love a little bit of a glow on the inner corners. Gorge. Now it's time for mascara. I'm taking this mascara from Fifth Avenue. I saw this at Kmart, I think it was, and I was like, never heard of this brand, but the wand does look really good because it's like that plastic benefit looking wand. So I'm just going to coat my lashes. Oh, it's working really well. Like it's got a lot of products coming out onto the lashes, which I love. Oh my God, the mascara just went all over my skin under my eyes because it's really wet. So... It just transferred so if you are going to use it be really careful when you're doing the lower lashes to like not look down because it's going to transfer but anyways uh, let's move on to um falsies i'm going to use these ones from ardell these are the natural wispies yep yeah stemmy wispies look at these gorgeous lashes perfect for daytime because they're super light but they still add nice length and volume i finally fixed this whole situation on my face with the mascara now i'm just going to pop on some lashes Oh, these are so little. They're honestly so easy to put on. Let's contour the face. So I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. And I'm just going to take this dark shade. I've heard that this is like really pigmented. So I'm just going to pick up literally the smallest bit and then tap it off. So I'm just going to contour a little bit. Oh, that's a really nice color. Now to bronze up my skin, I'm going to take this Inglot bronzing powder in the shade 74. I have never tried any products from Inglot except for their pigments, so let's see how this goes. I'm just going to take this brush from Real Techniques as the blush brush. It's so good for bronzer. Oh, God, that's so pigmented. I love the color. It's like the perfect sun kiss look. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm going to take this under my jawbone, get rid of that double chin. See ya. Touch on the flip side, hun. And also around my forehead as well. Just for a bit of color up there. With that same Wet n Wild palette, I'm just going to pick up that really light shade and just clean up under here a tiny bit. Because you know me, I always like to go overboard. Now it's time for blush. So I'm going to take this NYX, what is this? Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer. Are you sure, hun? That literally just looks like a blush. Thank you. It is very shimmery though, so it's going to add a nice sheen to the cheeks, I'm hoping. I don't know if I've used this. I don't think I have. Ooh. All the NYX blushes that I've used are very pigmented, considering how bloody cheap they are. These are like $6 or something. Well, $6 in 
America, but like $12 in Australia. Typical, right? <laughs> Nyx will never let me down. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this next part. Ah, are you guys ready? So I'm going to use the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. Guerrero, sorry, my bad. I think I'm going to use Glow Getter because it's like a really nice gold and I don't really have many gold palettes. I'm going to use a fan brush because I honestly haven't used one in so long. So let's see what this looks like. Oh my god, girl. That is so pigmented. I'm just going to do a bit more. Because I'm extra as fuck. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I have swatched these on my arm before and they were like that pigmented that I'm like, I don't even think I can use a brush that's like really dense because it's going to be way too much. But with the fan brush, it looks really nice. If you like a subtle highlight, literally don't go anywhere near this palette. It is the most intense highlight I've honestly ever, ever used in my life. The next product that I'm going to take is this e.l.f. product. I don't know what it's called because I never have like the name on it, but it is in the shade Blushing Rose. I'm assuming it's like a, a velvet lip or some sort of lip stick in a cream form. You know what I mean? But because this is a daytime look, I want to do like something nice and neutral. Ooh, that goes on nicely. This is like a really nice purpley mauve everyday color. I like it. I am literally obsessed with this lip color. It dries like really matte. It's so comfortable to wear and I'm so shocked right now. It's that good. <laughs> I'm just going to go over my eyebrows with this tinted brow gel by Mellow Cosmetics. I always like to brush my brows straight up so they look fuller. Oh, this looks really good. I love this. I mean, well, so far, <laughs> I always, like, get ahead of myself. There's definitely a lot of hits and misses with e.l.f., but, like, this lip product is so good. I know I've used a lot of e.l.f. in this video and, like, the balm, but they just sent me a package, so I thought I may as well try it out in this video so I can switch up the products that I use and stuff. So, lastly, I'm just going to take this e.l.f. makeup and mist set. I bought this on myself, um... The other day so uh, let's see how this goes I'm gonna make sure I'm spraying it from like all the way back here oh so there we have the finished makeup look I hope you guys like it I actually love how it turned out I feel like it's perfect for a daytime look although I would wear this at nighttime as well mm, can't get over this um, all of the eyeshadows <clears throat> <laughs> all of the eyeshadows were amazing I'm so impressed with the balm and also like how pigmented that elf product was like oh my god um, the bronzer is gonna be one of my favorites I can already tell because it's that really nice orangey color I love orange cheeks the highlighter palette I'm gonna use that all the time if you guys don't have that Nicole Giero palette a Guerrero shit I'm so bad at pronouncing names I would definitely recommend getting it what else do we have going on? The Demi Wispies are amazing. I'm just so happy with how this look turned out. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Oh my God, wait. <laughs> please don't get that under eye concealer. No. Anyways, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you so much. I know a few people are going to be like, shiny girl, wash your tan off. Yes, hun. I'm going to go do that right now. I'm so sorry you had to look at that. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Love you. Mwah.